From diving to biting, from player antics to ludicrous refereeing decisions, the World Cup has seen every possible controversy in the course of 21 tournaments. This time on Match of the Day Top 10, it's the most shocking moments. Shocking moments. Micah Richards, Alan Shearer. <laughs> There's been a few of them. <laughs> There's been a lot of shocking moments in, mm. in World Cups, as you expect. Were you ever involved in a, a shocking moment? Could we describe the David Beckham sending off as a shocking moment in 98? Could shocking it? for David shocking Beckham, for shocking for England. Yeah. Do you think it cost you... Yeah. Do you think you had a chance in that tournament yeah, with that? Yeah. yeah. You ever been involved in a shocking moment in a World Cup, Micah? <laughs> <laughs> Watching the World Cup, you probably had a few oh, shocking, shocking moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, certainly. 2010 World Cup. Oof. Yeah. Were you there? We'll get to... No, I was in Marbella. Yeah. And you remember? No, go on then. What's your shocking moment now? It was just the um, <laughs> champagne spray, they used to call it, Marbella. So you just basically buy as much champagne as possible. I remember watching it on the big, the big screen. Is that another 250 grand? No, no, it? to be fair, it was only about 20 grand this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was only about. We were there for the day. Can I, I mean, remind you there's a cost of living crisis? Oh, no, yeah, I know, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that, people. I was, I was young and naive, you know what I mean? Mm. It was back, it was 2010. What? Uh. Do you know what I mean? But we had a great time. <laughs> Absolute great. It was just, and then that happened, and then it hurt for about five minutes, and the rest of that just started spacing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, Obviously, I was gutted because I didn't go to the World Cup, so I was like, yeah, take some of that. <laughs> right, so here are our top ten shocking moments in the World Cup, and as always, in no particular order. Luis Suarez uh, taking a chunk out of Giorgio Chiellini's shoulder as Uruguay played Italy in 2014. Ronaldo disappearing from the team sheet minutes before the final against France in 1998 after an apparent seizure. Frank Lampard's strike that crossed the line against Germany in 2010. Zinedine Zidane headbutting Marco Materazzi during the final between France and Italy in 2006. Diego Maradona having to leave the World Cup in 1994 due to a failed drugs test. Rivaldo's ludicrous dive against Turkey in 2002. Luis Suarez again is on the list with his handball antics against Ghana in 2010. Roy Keane leaving the Ireland squad in 2002. Maradona's Hand of God goal against England in 1986. And lastly, Frank Reichardt spitting on Rudy Voller, not just once, but twice in 1990. Well, there's some goodies in there. Um, let me start with you this time, Alan. You're oh, 10 to 6. 10 to 6. I've gone Lampard's ghost goal. Nine, Roy Keane leaving the Ireland squad. Mm -hmm. Eight, the Suarez handball. Seven, the uh, Rivaldo dive. And six, the Maradona being banned. Micah? Okay. Well, for drugs? I mean, okay. Um, Lampard uh, ghost goal. Rivaldo dive. Keen leaving the squad. Number eight. Suarez handball, number seven. And you know what? This should be higher, to be honest. I've, I've got Rijkaard spitting. And it's disgusting, isn't it? Right, you, but you've both got um, Frank Lampard, I suppose, just because it's just a disallowed goal, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not that shocking, is it? It's it was shocking goal, at the time. It, no, but it was, though, because the way the game was going, if it, he would have scored, yeah. Would have got it back to 2-2, two, two, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was 2-1 down. The goal clearly went over. We're all celebrating. Lampard! Yes. Brilliant! It was in, no! It's there! That surely crossed the line! It's not been given! Yeah, and but then England just... didn't deserve anything in that. No, they got they got battered. They were, I definitely did they draw USA and yeah. Algeria. Yeah, but, it, yeah. But that doesn't make it right. That it well, after that happened, it's like thing. all the yeah. the confidence was just zapped out of them. But yeah, did it limit the amount of champagne you sprayed? Or? Oh no, it didn't. I think it got more. <laughs> <laughs> drown, drown your sorrows. Oh yes, it there was a go. brilliant, oh, brilliant day that was. But yeah, it was. I mean, it was so far over the line. It was. It was. It was, wasn't it? It was. I mean, as soon as you saw it, you, thought, you ain't goal, and they thought, 
What? Yeah. Carry on. It's embarrassing, wasn't it? Yeah. And so bad. I mean, did it, did it hide a little bit in England's inadequacies in that World Cup? That's what oh, I said. I think yeah. that's probably the worst. It was really poor, wasn't it? I remember because uh, obviously we were we were working on it there, and it is so hard when England are that bad in the tournament, isn't it? Mm. It's just not what we want, is it? Because the last thing you want to do is be critical of the players and the manager. And... Tournaments are a lot better, aren't they, when England go far into the tournament, yeah. the atmosphere and in in Gets the exciting. TV studio, and it's after the games you can have a you can have a yeah. laugh and a few more beers because you're all celebrating. But then, I mean, in that tournament, yeah. I just remember it being so flat because England was so yeah. crap. Right, so Roy Keane. Um... Roy Keane will be taking no part in the World Cup. He's went home. You must have asked him about you that. Must, have, you? have you? Have you ever have asked you? him? I've not. I've not asked him about You've it. Not asked him. I, I swear I don't because. Because she's scared. No. <laughs> he's weird. Like, Roy Key's just like you two here. Yeah. Like, he, obviously, yeah, he's passionate and all that on camera, but he's like one of the nicest, yeah. genuine do blokes. You think, do you think Roy Keane plays Roy Keane very well? No, I don't. You know, playing the heart. I mean, he does do it, doesn't he? Are you, well, In I a mean, way. And he's great. I think he's box office. I he's, mean, he's class. He really is. He's yeah, but I mean, I mean yeah. But... I think if you're on a Sunday and Man United have had a stinker, you want Roy Keane in the studio, don't you? I think there probably is elements from playing up to his character. We all do, don't we? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a jolly character. Uh, I'm a jolly character. I am, I am. We I... can think of different words to describe you. Well, yeah. uh, what, what were they? They yeah. were nice, yeah. You were a yeah, really jolly. wonderful guy. Chirpy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Roy, Roy Keane. He's a, nice, I'm, he's, he's a nice guy. You find that, though, of course. during games, when you're in your career, and you, you don't really know anyone, the, the opposition, because you're never out for a pint with them unless mm. you're from the same country and you go and meet up with them. But that, when you're that, you, just, you don't really think, oh, I don't like him. But then when you finish playing, you actually share, share a studio with someone, you think, actually, he's all right, you know. Yeah. But you, you didn't like him when you were playing. But that's fair, that's yes. natural. Is there anyone that you don't like, though? Don't like. Don't like who's still within football. You should ask Roy that about Mick McCarthy. Because that's who he walked out on, wasn't it, in the yeah. Island squad, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I see know. the story, but you don't know what the, is the actual truth, do you? Ask him. I will ask on him next, next time. Next time. Live on TV. And then you, you, can, then you can tell us. On the next race, yes. Us. Let's yeah. do but, that. Yeah. But it was an interesting one because he was very much the kind of one of the integral players. And then he obviously didn't like the camp and stuff. He said they had no balls. Not unprofessional or and all yeah. that. Yeah. But, but to leave and storm off is. It's quite he is very though. professional, though. Yeah. He literally is yeah. always an hour early, always yeah. doing his notes, always making sure he knows what he's going to say before. And he's never left before the end of a show yet, has he? So. Not, not at the moment. Maybe it'll happen one day. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Suarez Hamble. Suarez. I mean, he's in this twice. I, 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 I figured the other one would be a little bit higher than this. Blocked on the line! Blocked on the line again! Has it gone in? Well, it's a red card. It's been blocked on the line! I mean, this was just one of those things that I think most players would have done, wouldn't they? No, 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 no. To keep your team in it. Y yes. The safe mm. part of it. Yeah, but it's like he was gloating. He was on the side of the pitch and everything. He was celebrating. Because, and because was... he's got himself sent off. But do you not think there's an element of him putting his country ahead of himself on that? Because he then obviously can't play the next game. On that occasion, I think you're right. I think Because I much any player that... to yeah. keep your side in it yeah. but would make that save. And then... Actually, to have the penalty saved, yeah. it means you... No? I can't, man. Really? Disgusting. Uh, handball, uh, handball, it's like... Handball's disgusting. No, I understand your point to save your country, definitely. He's in the tunnel, he's, though, and he's, he's just... basically cheated. He's cheated, hasn't he? It's, it's not cheated, he's committed a foul. Mm. I think this is a celebration after they've missed the penalty as well, isn't it? Is it? Oh. I suppose, in a way, you can compare it with Maradona punching it in, which we'll, we'll come to, I suppose, because... And that was equally as deliberate. But because you don't see that very often when he's trying to do it to score a goal, but you do see it quite a lot from players on the, uh, yeah. on the oh, line. Yes. But what actually is the difference? Mm. But you would like, you, you'd want a Suarez in your team. And I'm not saying... Like what oh, he did, no. I want life. He was a great player, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, 
and he's always arguing with, with players and stuff yeah. and whining. But the thing is, the thing is, I did, I was, I had to spend some time with Cesc Fabregas recently, and he was saying about Suarez. He said he's the nicest. But yeah. He's the nicest. He said he's not like on the pitch or how you your perceptions. He says he's just it's such a lovely guy, and you can see that. Off, but he's obviously got that little bit of yeah, yeah. something in him on the that, pitch. Like, that yeah. wants to win at all costs. Just goes over the line, doesn't he? Yeah, it he goes, to, he goes too yeah. far. Who else have we both got in here? The um, Rivaldo. Um, Rivaldo. Oh, that, <laughs> that was. was I mean, it was embarrassing. Oh, really, wasn't I mean, it? it was that bad. We got all laugh with it. It was funny, wasn't it? it? Yeah. Probably, yeah. They smashed the ball at him, didn't they? And it hit his knee or something, didn't yeah. he? Went and down all night. Oh. Yeah, but he was down for ages. Oh. What was he thinking know, about? Yeah. Man? And he was one of the best players I've ever watched. And I, when I see him do that, I was like, get yourself up. Yeah. Stop being an idiot. That's something that is very commonplace in the game, and probably more more than ever now is this is feigning injury. And we heard it particularly, didn't we, during the pandemic when there were no crowds and you could hear the microphones and the map screaming Scream. players were doing yeah. for nothing, like, ah! Yeah. And, and it's, do you think, is it something that needs dressing in the game? Because it, play acting, because it's... But is that, is that, that's acceptable, isn't it? Is it, is it acceptable in South America and... It seems, I mean, it's, it's become acceptable Europe everywhere now yeah. because it's a, basically it's a global game now, isn't it? I mean, everyone plays yeah. everywhere. I mean, but they, they wouldn't... They wouldn't frown upon that well, as the, much as... Well, the handball, the, the well, Maradona the dive, thing. The dive and, thing, and no, dive the Rivaldo thing, thing would I, they? I don't know. Compared to, to us here well, in Maybe, England? maybe we're a bit know. holier than now, I don't know. But that was embarrassing, the Rivaldo It was very embarrassing, thing. yeah. So, um, yeah. Maradona drugs, which you've got in your top five. So let's get your top fives now. OK. Do you want to go first? You go know? first. Um, you go. OK, I'll go um, the Suarez bite. Zidane headbutt, number four. Should be a Drugs cheating, Maradona. Maradona hand of God, number two. Well, and then Ronaldo, yeah, Ronaldo, uh, it's just, it's just because he's one of my, yeah. The, it was amazing. It was just weird, the whole thing was weird. Mm. That's why he's, yeah. yeah okay, went. we'll come to that. Mm. Alan? I've gone Frank Rijkaard spitting. Yep. Suarez bite. Chiellini. Six Madden, Suarez and bite. bite. I've got uh, Maradona, Hand of God, three. Yep. Then the Ronaldo, Ronaldo seizure, two, yeah. two, and Zidane, headbutt, one. Mm. Mm. Right, right card first, because you've got six, you've got five, very similar. I mean, I met him recently, I met him in Ibiza about a year ago. Did you? Um, by chance, and... Um, did you ask him? I was staying in the same hotel, I didn't mention his... <laughs> his and I can honestly say he did not spit at me at any point. <laughs> um, and, um, again, he was really, really nice and lovely, and I'm sure he is, but I don't know what drove him to spit on... Obviously, there's a bit of something going on between them, but to do it not once, but twice. Twice, Because as, as once can be like a, like a gut reaction, a, a it was... moment of... But to do it twice... Well, it was within a minute of each other, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Was it? He gave a free, it was the same free bit, it was yeah. the same bit, and then he walked and, and did it again. And went back to the corner and then and did it again. Yeah. When, um... And they both got sent off, didn't they? And you thought, wow, what's he done? Because mm. <laughs> you didn't see it until he looked up close up and you can actually see him yeah. gobbling on him, can't you? Yeah. Like... That's unacceptable. And if anyone did... anyone, uh, You get a spat at ever? Uh, no. Alan? No, I, no, I, I did once. Did I you? did once, yeah. I was playing for Barcelona and it was away game. I can't remember the player or anything, but I, it was like somebody, I, you know, I was running up to nudge me or something. I nudged him off and it's like, I was like, oh, oh, in, your, in my face. No. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a bit of a free hit if someone gobs you, isn't it? Because you'd have yeah. to turn around and smack him and it'd, it'd yeah. be accepted. I didn't, of course, I ran away. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do anything? I did, yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I did, I didn't, you know. I, you went, oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I went, yeah. Yeah, it's not, not nice at all. Yeah. Suarez. Um, would you sooner be spat at or bitten? I'd rather be bitten. I'd rather be spat at. You'd rather be spat at than bitten? Yeah. Bitten, yeah. Bitten's all right. We can have a bit. We can <laughs> roll yeah, around and bite hurt. each other. Spit doesn't hurt. Bite it. Oh, no. The Suarez thing was, we, we, we remember that? Like, oh, we, we, we were doing we, the we, game. We, was it two or three times you got done? For um, bite. Think, yeah, certainly at least two. Twice, because, yeah, at least yeah, two. It might have been a third one, but... Jeez, yeah. yeah. He's, like, he's, he's got some gnashes as well, hasn't he? He's a nibbler. Got some, yeah. He's got some gnashes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe that's why he's been <laughs> sharpening and honing them over years. <laughs> but it was like an amazing thing to see, wasn't it? He thought, did he? We, we couldn't, did he, did he actually do And then Killeen is going like that and he's showing the teeth yeah, marks yeah. in his shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Remember it? It's like ridiculous. I remember that, yeah. yeah. We were in the studio, weren't we? We were all shocked. Yeah. Ridiculous, yeah. yeah. What, what did you say after? On, uh, we on... just couldn't believe what we'd seen. It was it like. Became, it became a massive story, didn't it? But yeah. It really was because he got. So it should. I mean, I know what goes on in. He obviously told him to get away with it and he maybe have done that in, in, in games in previously, maybe somewhere else. But. But you can't, in a World Cup, a World when you know there's going to be like 100 cameras on every game, you're going to, every little thing will be seen. Yeah. Um, Diego, Diego was obviously, the, the highs and lows, well, quite literally highs on this occasion, obviously, um, of his career, to get done for drugs was in, in a World Cup as well, um, to test positive. He expected so much better. I know he had his, his yeah. problems. I mean, he had his addictions, but this was on top of that as well. It wasn't just cocaine, so... I just wonder what he was going through. Imagine being that great at football. It, it, it's funny, I, t I spent uh, two days with him in Buenos Aires, and he, I went to a game to watch Boca at La Bombonera, and I went to a five-a-side tournament he played in. Um, it's only, I don't know, ten years ago, whatever it was. And it was... I just thought to myself, I, I'm not surprised that his life was how it was because it was mad. Everywhere he went, there was like adulation and hundreds of people try and every time he moved, he was like hustled and, and by people and everywhere. And and he was bonkers anyway, in a nice way. You'd really like him. I mean, he's a great sense of humour and he was a lovely, lovely guy. Yes, he had his, you know, addiction problems and that's, you know, that's an illness. And he was, but he was, he was such a great guy. But his life, it was like the adulation. He was like treated like a god. People would, at his feet and all this. It's hard to describe it. And I went to La Bombonera to watch this match where he has his own little box. And he was there with his family and I was with him and there's, there's making a documentary and it was, and I was there and he, he's in the box and he went, this is, this is my ground and all this. And the people, when he comes to the balcony, it's like, oh, yeah. Everyone's looking up, and this is, you know, and the atmosphere. If ever you get a chance to go to the Lab and Aires to watch Boca play in a big game, take it because it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, and he was there, and he gets so excited still that he was leaning so far over the box that his daughter was hanging on to him to make sure he didn't fall over. Most of these guys on here, yeah. for the vast majority of them, we've all gone, yeah, but everyone tells us he's a great guy. Yeah. And he's a great. Yeah, there's know. a flawed genius yeah. in in most of these players yeah. that we're going to mention on this, isn't, this uh, on this uh, yeah, of course. on this list of which obviously yeah. Maradona was one of them. Because it's the same as that. Whenever I've come across these guys and Maradona, they've always been so nice mm. off the pitch. Do you think it's the pressure? Because imagine who knows? Maybe imagine it's just living with that genius. If you're that good and getting that much adulation, and who knows? But some of them cope with it. You know, really, lots of them do co have cope with it, superstars. So I don't think it's an integral part of being a superstar. But I think if you are slightly vulnerable or slightly fragile to that kind of thing, or the drugs, for example, in Diego's case, which is an addiction thing that I think he said started in, in Barcelona, that's a kind of another issue, isn't it? It doesn't, you know, just because you're a drug addict doesn't mean you're a bad person. Or, of course. It, yeah. You know, it's, it means you've got a problem which he had, but people will use you as well, which, which they did when he went to Napoli, didn't they? And you got, he got entwined with the mm. underworld and yeah, all. Yeah. And I think if you look at most sports people that would get done for doping in a big event, say the Olympics or the World Cup, done. they'd be chastised yeah. forever. People would look down on them, wouldn't they, massively. They'd be disgraced. Whereas Diego got away with that. Yeah. Do, I don't think people think of him as uh, in that, that sense. Yeah, I don't even remember and, it. And despite all the bad things that perhaps, you know, the yeah. under God or, or getting caught for that, because that wasn't just cocaine either. So whereas normally it would be like disgrace and everything taken away from you. But with him, that doesn't apply. And I suppose Zidane is a... Oh. Is, you wonder as well if France hadn't already won the World Cup where he scored two in the final, whether he would have perhaps been forgiven by... France for doing what he did because that cost them that World Cup really, didn't it? I mean, I have many things that happen on a pitch, but I, could, I just couldn't, I couldn't so believe it. That I mean, look, we've all been on a football pitch where someone yeah. has said something to you, which is obviously what um, Matarazzi did to mm. 
to Zidane, but <laughs> for him, I mean... What do you think he said, though? Didn't he say it something, something about, about his, his sister, sister, wasn't it? But which is back, but this is a World Cup final. You've you've already scored yourself. You, things are going pretty well, and then to completely lose your head by using your head on someone and else. It was a proper. It, it like oh. took, <clears throat> it took a step back to go at him as well. I mean, I remember th- being at the game and thought, what's just happened? Yeah. And then it kind of game carried on because no one saw it because I think the fourth official told the referee, which was pretty unusual because there was no VAR or anything. And then the replay came, it was like, oh my God. It was, yeah. <laughs> Did he actually do that? It was a proper one. It was when he was walking past the World Cup, which oh, was, that, that image. What an image. Yeah. That was horrible, though. Yeah. Because he was one of the best of, of all time. Oh, he was. We're back to Diego with Hand of God, which we've, we've, we've talked about, and I'm sure we'll talk about, and I've spent half my life talking about. <laughs> Maradona just walked away from Hoddle then. Maldano. Whenever I do an interview, any kind of journalist about it, it's, it, I, I don't know how many times yeah. I've spoken about it. And, and I didn't actually see it. <laughs> any more stories about that there? Anything else that we... I, I, an area I, I, that we've not covered that's the biggest, not, that's the not the biggest the story me- was he wishes he had a got his top. <laughs> yeah. Maradona's top. <laughs> Number <laughs> seven million. <laughs> what do we yeah, nice that one? Uh, can you imagine the haters? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be bothered, wouldn't you? would <laughs> <laughs> be glorious, wouldn't it? Be glorious. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. Um you must have one for us. Some of that's no, not been no. in the press. And... Well, no, the interesting thing is when I went to do the, the, the chat with him about it. And... Um, and he, he laughing? Yeah. And I, and I said, come on, Diego, I said... Because he never really properly said it was definitely my hand, right? I thought also he was the one that came out because they said to him at the end of the game, didn't they? And they said, well... You know, was it your hand, was it this? And he said, well, it was partly so-and-so and and a little bit the hand of God. And I thought that was really clever. Um, (laughs) Clever line to come out with. Really, in terms of la mano de Dios. What what did he say? La mano de Dios. It's la mano, because it's it's one of the irregular. Ah, Because normally it's ends in A, it's la. A little Spanish lesson, but that's an irregular one. Um, So (laughs) it is. (laughs) You fell asleep then. Spanish lessons <laughs> within the pod. You get everything on this podcast. <laughs> so I thought that was clever. Got so this I, on Saturday. So, then, mate, then. so, so <laughs> I, when I eventually sat down with him and I did it in his back garden by his swimming pool, and um, so I said to him, "Come on, Diego, it was your hand, wasn't it?" And he went, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "Just a little laugh, just a little laugh." And he says, "Yeah, yeah." And, and, and then. Um, at the end, I went, shut the hand, and he went, shut the hand, and I went, is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> I grabbed it a yeah. bit more. <laughs> but he was, yeah, it, it, it's, yeah, he got away with it. He got away with it somehow. And um, it's probably the most famous game of football ever, do you think? Mm, yeah, it's, it's it almost up a lot. It's almost World Cup finals and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, from I'm, we're from England, so it's going to be. Far from um, 66. No, I don't know, that's not the most famous game ever. I think in world football, though, I'm talking about... Because oh, right. not just in England, okay, that's right. different, because that's obviously 66. But that one probably is ranks around the world, because every time I do a foreign interview anywhere, they ask about that game, so... Yeah, I think there might have been... I know there's... I wouldn't say a hit, but because of that second goal that he scored, yeah. the genius of it, yeah. then that sort of... It, he didn't get away with it, it but it sort of, yeah. said, oh my God, the genius of him and everything else. It, it, it was a game, really, that that epitomised his life, didn't it? it was yeah. Mm. How yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The naughty side, yeah. the absolutely brilliant yeah. side. And, I, yeah, Diego, who's sadly no longer with us. Mm. Um, Ronaldo, you got him second down. You went with yeah. Zidane. Why did you go Zidane ahead of it? Cause I it, just... I mean, I've never seen that. I've never seen like that, no, <laughs> ever. I, I, I totally understand. It's Zidane. But the yeah. Ronaldo... The Ronaldo one was a different kind of thing, but it was extraordinary. It was just used, wasn't it? I mean, there's this superstar. Yeah. Why, it, what do you mean used? Well, it's like because of who he was and what he was and what he brought to that to that team. Well, he was desperate to get out there. As well, as the, was he? Because, I, yeah, I, I interviewed him very recently, actually. With Pressure on A documentary on him, for, for FIFA. And he going through that day... It's like extraordinary. He said, he said, we did what we always do. You know, we had a little walk in the morning, we had a bit of lunch. So then we go for a siesta. He said, I was with Roberto Carlos. He said, we're in the, in the room. 
He said, so I'd go to sleep. He said, then the next thing I know, there's loads of, like, medics around my bed and Roberto Carlos is there. And he said, and everyone's around. And he says, what's happened, what's happened? And he said, well, we don't know yet. We need to do some medical tests. It looks like you've had some kind of seizure. And he, he says, I didn't really know what was going on. He said, suddenly I'm whisked to the hospital. And he said, I'm there. And he said, I'm having all these tests. And they're saying, he's fine, he's fine. And he said, get me back to the game. He said, you've got to get me back. I've got to play. It's the World Cup final. He said, it's a mad story. He said, so then the, the team obviously goes separately. He comes, arrives, I think, I don't know whether in a car or an ambulance, whatever. But they, the team are already there. The manager picks the team with, leaves Ronaldo out. Ronaldo then arrives in the dressing room and he's going, well, got to play. And the manager has already put the team sheet in because there was this Ferrari around it. I remember like, yeah. um, John Watson was going with Trevor Brookin and there was um, Des Lyman in the studio. And they were going, what's going on is he's out the team. And then suddenly, no, it's changed. I'm just going to interrupt you there because news has just come out that the biggest wind-up in World Cup football history has, has just hit the news because Ronaldo will play. Ronaldo's in and they left out the guy. And Ronaldo actually went and played. And obviously they lost, and then afterwards there were all these investigations into what happened and conspiracy theories and everything. And then obviously four years later he went on to win the Golden Boot and the World Cup final, scoring two in the final. Is the goal. Well, well not the goal. I think uh, that was... Uh, I, I understand. I think that's... You know, you, you differ, but Al, you've got it in second, so we'll go... I think we'll go with... So another win for me, basically. You need to tune a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he it up. He's the best. He's Ronaldo. Ronaldo. As a player. Oh. He was a, he's the oh. best. He's the best. The best ever. No, well, he's the one who made you want to is he the wear best, R9. Is he the best Ronaldo? There's one to. Ooh, it's different. R9 is the original. If R9 was in this era now, yeah. 50 goals oh, minimum a, yeah, a season in the Premier League. No yeah. question. Minimum. And his little haircut and, oh, he was, yeah. he was the man. It's just his knee injury, isn't it? He killed him. So Bobby signed him at Barca, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. And he, and he tried to it. sign me before him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how we got, that's how we got him from... God, how lucky can you get? I know, that's it. That was what, that's what I mean. Bobby, Bobby, tells me, yeah. well, Bobby told me this story when he was manager in Newcastle. He said, I came in for you first, he says, and Blackburn told me you weren't for sale. He says, and then two or three weeks later, he'd gone to Newcastle. He said, but in the meantime, once they told me, he says emphatically, he said, you're not for sale. He said, so then I went out and he got, uh, he got young Ronaldo. I think got him from PSV, I think. Yeah, it would yeah. have been. Got him from PSV. What year would that be? 96. 96? Yeah. yeah. So he's going to be playing so for So it's actually, you know what the it, worked, mad thing it worked out right. He, he got the right one in the end, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you know what the mad thing is? Such how bad his injuries were that before the World Cup in Japan, mm -hmm. he was out for how long? Three and a half years. Wow. He could barely walk. He said he's got a physio. He said in the end that he started cranking his knee back to crack it to bit. And he said he got me playing. Three and a half years. His scars are unbelievable. Bad, yeah. And then he goes and, and wins. He did run up his cruciate. <laughs> I think it was boot. a cruciate that he ruptured as well, didn't yeah. he? Had some, yeah. yeah, terrible win. But really bad one. A remarkable story, yeah. which brings what us to the end. Our top ten. As ever, you can disagree or agree and have your point of view by using hashtag MOTD. Top 10. We'll see you next time.